Hola, niños. Más verbos irregulares. Okay, I hope you have those preterite verb study sheets out because we're going to review what we've already learned and learn some new verbs. Hooray! Okay, the four verbs that we are going to focus on in this chapter, and we already actually had you fill this in on your chart, but the ones we're going to focus on are venir, poner, decir, and traer. And for those of you that don't know, they mean to come, to put or to place, to say, and to bring. And they're going to follow a pattern that's similar to estar, por ver, and tener that we had from the last chapter. And all of these verbs have irregular stems, use the same ones as estar, poder, and tener. And no accents. Okay, kids, so here you have the irregular stems, and then you have the endings that go with these stems. So, for example, with decir, we have dije, dijiste, dijo, dijimos, disteis, dijeron. Okay, and don't forget, we talked about this in the last chapter with the J stem verbs. For example, decir and traer you drop the I in the third person plural ending. And we'll get to that again in one second to focus. I'm just a little excited about this. We all are. I know. I said it. Okay, this is the sheet that you should have already filled them all in. And if you notice, all the blue ones are the ones we focused on last chapter, which were tuv, estuv, and pud, which are tener, estar, and poder. Now, this chapter, we're going to have decir, which is dich, traer, which is trach, Poner, which is pus, and venir, which is vin. So once you know those stems, just like last chapter, you put the endings below on the end of the verb. Easy enough. And as Miss Davidoff just mentioned, if you notice that in the green, the endings are I-E-R-O-N, and the blue words all have just the E-R-O-N, and we're going to talk about that once more quickly right here. Oh, good. I really love those verbs. Okay, so decir and traer. Um, you know there are regular stems, and like I said earlier, you're going to drop the I in the third person plural ending. So, for example, you have dijeron, trajeron, and uh, here we have an example. Me trajeron una silla de ruedas y me dijeron que no debía tratar de caminar. Ay, qué triste. Ay, caramba. So they brought me a, a wheelchair, and they told me that I should not try to walk. Oh, this chapter, man, it's full of emergencias. Ay, sí. Okay, so now we're going to do some practice, practica. Text your answers to the following questions to your teacher's Google Voice number, or simply write the answers down on paper and hand those in tomorrow, which is Mrs. Davidoff's preferred method. I actually don't mind the paper either. I also accept emails. Okay, well, we're all different. Nice. You know what your teacher expects at this point. It's February, kids. Just show us you're watching. Here we go. Practica. Now's a perfect time to stop. Pause this video, see if you can fill these in. If not, you know what to study. Welcome back. Para numero uno, yo te dije la verdad. I told you the truth. Okay, numero dos, nosotros pusimos los libros en la mesa. We put the books on the table. Ella trajo la calculadora a la clase. She brought the calculator to class. Cuatro. Ustedes vinieron a Colorado para visitarnos. You all came to Colorado to visit us. Oh, how nice. Y últimamente, ellos trajeron las mochilas ayer. And notice this is one of those that had a J ending, and in the ellos form, we had to drop that I. They, or, they brought the backpacks yesterday. Can't remember if I already said that or not. That's okay. Okay. Ya dijimos todo. <laughs> We've already said it all. Pero... This is just a fun little comic showing that Disney had bought out Star Wars this past year. And Mickey is saying, Yo soy su dueño. I am your owner. Just kind of like. No. <laughs> and Este oh, Universo. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Yeah, like Darth Vader had said, I am your father. Just kind of a play on that. That's some okay. funny stuff, kids. You like that? Adios.